Hi friends, it's Erin from LizzieandErin.com. I have a cute little craft today that we're gonna do. We are gonna work with this cute little uh, headband here that I got from Dollar Tree, you guys. Super cute, look at that. And you get two of these little bunnies on here. How cute are those? Uh, then we're gonna use this little sign right here. I believe that these were around um, during uh, Valentine's Day at Dollar Tree and um, part of some of the spring stuff, uh, guys. So this is um, a recent sign that I got from Dollar Tree. And we're gonna use the back side of this. I'm using a piece of scrapbook paper that I got from uh, Hobby Lobby. Feel free to use any kind of scrapbook paper you choose. Um, this just happens to be my favorite. Then I'm gonna use a little bit of this white apple barrel paint. We're also gonna use some Mod Podge and a brush, of course. Okay, so let's get started, you guys. First thing we are going to do is we are going to paint our um, inside and around the, the edge here all uh, white. So that's what we're going to start with first. And I, like I said, I'm using my white apple barrel paint. You can get this at Walmart. I am going to paint over this. The sides are already white, but I want all of this, uh, the white to be all the same, all the same color, all the same shade of white. So we're just going to do a quick coat around the edges. This is a super quick, easy little uh, spring Easter project. This is a simple one that you could even do with the kids. Include them, the grandkids, uh, craft night with friends. Easy, easy, easy. Along the edges, I'm just gonna kind of dab it on there. Seems to go easier that way. Looks like we need a little bit more paint here. Really doesn't take much at all, honestly. Okay, come back around our edges here. Make sure that I got all of the sides. I touch up where I touched. All right, now I'm just gonna grab my heat gun and quickly dry this for us so we can move on to part two of this cute little project, you guys. The heat gun that I'm using is from Harbor Freight. Don't get too close to your uh, your paint that you're trying to dry, especially this uh, acrylic paint. It will kind of bubble up on you if you get too close. So keep it moving. Uh, just let the, the heat gun itself do the work. It will blow out the heat onto your project. Okay, I think that is good to go. Perfect. All right, so next we are going to 
take our uh, scrapbook paper. I went ahead and I traced out my, um, my frame here. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this guy out. Again, the, uh, this scrapbook paper here is from Hobby Lobby. The sign is, this sign here is from Dollar Tree. And the little bunny headband that we're using is also from um, Dollar Tree with the Easter goodies. I went to my Dollar Tree today and um, they had all kinds of new Easter stuff out. They had already kind of put a small section of it out and then today it was like, oh, there's all the Easter stuff. Okay, so it looks like this is a little big, maybe a lot of big. That is okay, I'm gonna squish it in here. Before I put my Mod Podge in there, I'm gonna go ahead and take my X-Acto knife and trim off that extra. Now that should fit perfect. Okay, great. All right, so now that we know that that's gonna work, isn't that cute just the way that is, you guys? Adorable, I love it. Again, you could use any kind of scrapbook paper you have or whatever you like. You may wanna use something a little more Eastery. Uh, but I happen to love this one. Okay, woo, that was a lot of Mod Podge. So I'm just using Mod Podge from the Dollar Tree, you guys. And that was way too much. Let me put some of this on my plate right here. Don't go too crazy with the Mod Podge like I just did. A little bit goes a long way with Mod Podge. Uh, the, the more Mod Podge you have on there when you lay scrapbook paper on top of it, it will just soak up your paper and make your, pink for, um, your paper really crinkly. And, um, like shri it shrivels it up, kind of, sort of. I'm gonna grab a napkin. I'm spreading it all out nicely. I got rid of a lot of that, so I just have a nice layer of Mod Podge on there now. All right, and I have a nice layer of Mod Podge on my fingers, too. <laughs> Okay, let's just lay our paper in here. Smooth it all out. Okay, so now from this part, guys, you could you could put anything in this thing. This is just adorable. I love it. Okay, but we're gonna stick with the spring Easter because uh, that is what um, season we are in right now. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take my, um, whoop, I just realized my, my wire cutters are inside. So we're gonna use these right here. If you have wire cutters, those will work perfect. We are just going to pop our, this off of our headband. And these might not even work. You know what? Let's see if hmm, let's see if we can just twist this guy out of there. Nope. Hang on. I have wire cutters in here too. Here's a pair right. It's not wire cutters. Well dog on it. There, there's a pair. Okay, now let me stop right there. Okay, go ahead. Any trolls that want to say that I'm unorganized, save your comment. I don't even want to hear it. <laughs> okay, I know it's coming. Have your stuff together. Don't watch. Lizzie and I love doing what we what we what we do, you guys, and we have 
amazing, amazing friends here on our page. Um, so, trolls, just keep it moving. I'm just popping off that last little piece of metal using a really bad pair of wire cutters. So you know what? We're just gonna leave that. There's a little tiny little piece of metal still there. But you know what? I Honestly, I think that it's gonna be hidden behind uh, the tail. Honestly, I don't even think we're gonna be able to see it. So we're using the back side of that bunny there. Um, he's got a cute little uh, tail on the back side. And I think this is just gonna be adorable on here. Look at that, you guys. How stinking cute. All right, so all we're gonna do is hot glue this in place. I'm just gonna go around my, edge, my edges here. Some hot glue and look. They also have these little headbands in blue as well. So uh, you could do this in blue or pink. Or maybe you can find other colors at your Dollar Tree, I don't know. Mine just had blue and pink. How cute, you guys. This is so simple, so adorable, and so easy. And you guys, we spent a dollar on the sign, a dollar on our headband. We only used one, so really, we've got another one. Um, so technically, that was only 50 cents. And then our uh, scrapbook paper, I get them at Hobby Lobby for for a dollar. So it was really um, 25 cents. So you guys, we're under, way under $2 for our little, our little project here. And how cute is that? I love it. Also, um, if you're going to hang it, you can pop off this little, this little guy here. But these signs are always available at Dollar Tree, you guys. I've been seeing them with all the seasons. Like right now, also, you can find like a St. Patrick's Day one and do the same exact thing. So um, these, are, these are pretty easy to find. So, all right, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed this. And um, I hope that you uh, get to do this project. If you do, make sure you share pictures with us. We would love to see what you create. And um, I hope that you guys have a great rest of your day. And make sure you guys are following us on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Also, make sure that you stop by our store at lizzieandarendesigns.com. That's where you can find our shirts that, that you see us wearing. And also check out our blog at lizzieandarend.com. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy. Bye.